Welcome to the video where we will discuss neoplasia or cancer. And this is uh, the first of many that we will talk about neoplasia. Neoplasia literally means new growth. So under normal physiological conditions, a cell gets a, a signal, a trigger, the environment, some cells die off if you you know fall and scrape your knee then you know those cells are going to die and new cells are going to have to be replaced the old ones and so the set one cell divides into two and then these two cells divide into four you know this one also divides and let's say that you're this is a skin cell and you're out in in the sun for long times and this UV light from the sun causes a mutation in the DNA or a protein or something and so this this cell has a problem now well there's repair mechanisms there's repair mechanisms and, and enzymes enzymes that fix that fix the problem if these enzymes or repair mechanisms fail then the cell will say, hey, listen, I'm not going to contribute to, I don't contribute anymore, something's wrong with me, I'm just going to go ahead and die. And this is called apoptosis or apoptosis, whoever you argue with. And so that's, that's kind of normal growth. However, in cancer growth or in neoplasia or in a neoplasm, one cell, same types of situation, you know, one cell divides into two, and yada, 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 and down the line, there's a mutation in the DNA, mostly in the DNA, we could just cross out protein, mostly in the DNA, and each cell has a life cycle, and there's the S phase, and, you know, we'll talk about that in great detail, but these repair mechanisms in this or these checks there's there is checks there's a kind of checks and balances if you will in this in this life cycle to make sure that everything is in order before the cell divides and so the daughter cells can function properly well there's something goes awry here where the cells no longer listen to those signals or those signals no longer exist. There's something that goes wrong here. And so these cells, they just keep dividing and dividing uncontrollably. And that's what cancer is. Because they have lost the, uh, the willingness to play with others and to be a part of a team. They just go crazy. There's no cell death. There's no apoptosis. So fundamental to the origin of all neoplasms are heritable or genetic changes that allow excessive and unregulated proliferation that is independent of physiological growth, regulatory stimuli. So normal, you, normal growth, you get some kind of regulatory stimuli and they kind of, uh, you know, checks and balances type stuff. Well, in cancer, it's completely gone. So cancer cells continue to repl replicate and apparently they replicate obliviously to the regulatory influence influences that control normal cell growth. So in a normal cell, you know, these adjacent cells right here, or in a normal tissue, these adjacent cells, they send back inhibition or feedback to this cell saying, okay, I know you're here, let's stop growing, we don't need to divide, we're getting too crowded in here. But these guys, they don't care. They just keep re re replicating and going on and on and making more of them. And, you know, even if they're crowding out all these other cells, they don't really care. They just keep doing it. So there's some kind of communication loss and inhibitory signals in these cancer cells. And so neoplasms steadily increase in size regardless of their local environment and nutritional status of the host. They don't care. Cancer doesn't care that if you're malnourished or if you don't have the nutritional status to support it. It will keep growing and it will steal the nutrition from the adjacent cells. And then they need blood supply. This is blood. So angiogenesis happens a lot to feed this new cancer. 
Some neoplasms require endocrinous support, which is if, if this is the case, then there's treatments that are designed around this endocrine support to uh, halt or retard the, the growth of the neoplasms. All neoplasms depend on their host for their nutrition and their blood supply. All cancer has two basic components and so this is important to know and it's more terminology but you have to understand the terminology because if you don't you'll be lost when they talk about it. The parenchyma or the parenchyma. The parenchyma is made up of the transformed or neoplastic cells and we'll show a picture of this in a minute. So there's the parenchyma which is kind of the functional unit of the neoplasm. There is more uh, the functional part and it's made up of the neoplastic cells because each cell type obviously will dictate its function. If this is a liver cell then it will perform liver functions. If it's a kidney cell it will perform kidney uh, functions. It's a, if it's a neuron, if it's a nervous system cell then it will do that job. So the parenchyma is made up of the neoplastic cells and the supporting host derived non-neoplastic stroma. So there's the parenchyma and the stroma. And the stroma is made up of the connective tissues, the blood vessels, the host-derived inflammatory cells, the leukocytes, the macrophages, things like this. So the parenchyma of the neoplasm largely determines its biological behavior because the whatever type of cell that has lost its control mechanism is dividing like mad, that type of cell will determine its biological behavior. And also, what type of cell it is, that's where the tumor derives its name. So how do you name these things? We'll talk about that. So the stroma is a crucial for the growth of the neoplasm. Okay, And so it carries blood supply and provides support to the cancer, the growing cancer. So the stroma is crucial because it provides support to the parenchyma or the neoplastic cells. So neoplastic cells and stroma cells, they carry a two-way conversation. They talk to each other, they communicate with each other, and so it's a mutualistic type of relationship. So here is the, let's say this is a normal epithelium, and these are the keratinocytes. So normally you have some, some types of cells, and then you have the stroma, which is made up of the granulocytes, the monocytes, macrophages, the fibroblasts, you know, these collagen 3D structural proteins, if you will. You have capillary blood supply. So this is the stroma, and this is the parenchyma. And what happens is these cells start to change and there's dysplasia or this growth that's abnormal. And then these be the stroma becomes activated. Activated stroma. The cells become activated. And then in this case, you, you have the full-blown cancer. And the, so the cancer makes up of the, the parenchyma and the stroma. And so in this picture they're all kind of mixed together. These fibroblasts, they're part of this mess now. But these cells right here, these were the original parenchyma or the cells. And then all the other ones are the stroma. The inflammatory cells, the blood vessels, the connective tissue, um, the supporting structures and cells. And another feature that we'll talk about a lot is you can see in the microscope that there's a lot of mitosis going on. There's a lot of cell division and the stages of mitosis can be seen in this neoplasm.